Hi, I'm Irene Tansman, author of Amy and Arlene's Autism War. If you live in Massachusetts and you have a loved one who is enrolled in a dehabilitation facility, or you are considering dehabilitation for your loved one with autism and or intellectual disability, please consider joining the Dehabilitation Families in Massachusetts Facebook group. Today, I'd like to talk to you about Lily Eskelson Garcia appearing on the shortlist as a possible U.S. Secretary of Education. Eskelson Garcia is the former president of the National Education Association and a winner of the Teacher of the Year Award. Before 1974, educators routinely turned down many disabled students from public education even though their parents pay taxes like everybody else. While our laws say that disabled children have a right to ed an education, the attitudes of some educators remain back in the 1950s and 1960s. They resent having students with special needs in their classrooms and in their districts. Now, this is not everybody. There are some educators and administrators who welcome students with disabilities, but some do resent this. We have special education laws to protect the disabled, but these laws are not taken seriously. School districts routinely flout the law because there are no consequences for breaking it. But the main problem is that you can't legislate good intentions. When educators believe that children with disabilities are an inconvenience, special education laws are bound to fail. I believe that this, is, this problem in attitude is one reason why special education costs are skyrocketing in the US. We need to change some minds here. We want teachers to see special needs students as unique individuals with something to offer the world and society. Our laws have taken us as far as we can go. Now we need to work on reversing attitudes in society that say, these students don't deserve anything. They are merely an annoyance. And that brings us to our discussion of the nomination of Eskelson Garcia. In, in two, November 2015, Eskelson Garcia made some horrifying comments during the Campaign for America's Future Awards Gala, uh, uh, Campaign for America's Future Awards Gala. She said, we diversify our curriculum instruction to meet the personal individual needs of all our students, the blind, the hearing impaired, the physically challenged, the gifted and talented, the chronically tarded and the medically annoying. She apologized on her blog saying she was trying to be funny and, and misuse the, her words. She meant to say chronically tardy, not tarded. And by medically annoying, she didn't mean students with, with medical issues, but rather those with their own problems to purposely disrupt class and the teacher. However, if you look at the entire sentence where she names various types of special needs, the blind, the hearing impaired, the physically challenged, the gifted, gifted and talented. Of course, she meant uh, chronically retarded and medically annoying. Of course, she meant that. Uh, so, uh, so if you look at the entire sentence, the, the, the defense doesn't make too much sense. So here is the question. Is that justification and or apology sufficient? Should she be nominated? to, to, uh, to uh, be the U.S. Secretary of Education. Her original comments provided validation to teachers and administrators who resent having to educate those with intellectual disabilities and those with medical conditions. Did her apology lead those folks into embracing education for those with intellectual disabilities and those with medical conditions? or was her purpose merely to defend her indefensible words? In Garcia's cutesy speech, she wanted to emphasize that teachers must do many things, so she spoke at warp speed to illustrate this point. I'm going to place a link to her speech below this YouTube video so that you can see it for yourself. 
she must have had to practice the speech over and over again, but didn't get. But while she was practicing, she didn't get the idea that it was wrong, hurtful, and damaging. One commenter of the video said, "Wow, pretty full of yourself. I have both a developmentally disabled child, aka chronically tarded, and a child with significant medical issue, aka medically annoying." I am repulsed by your cutesy video. It is hard to believe you wrote it, mulled it over, edited it, practiced it, first slowly and then at super speed, and never did a moment of judgment or character strike you and make you realize it was in bad taste. Hurtful, tacky, bullying, arrogant, annoying, pathetic, juvenile, mean. I think this comment sizes up Eskelson's Garcia's attitudes towards students with special need and why she should not be U.S. Secretary of Education. Thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you on the next one.